Good afternoon, St. Matthews, and welcome into noon prayer on this Tuesday of the fifth week after Epiphany as we march towards Lent and then eventually Easter. An order of service for noonday begins on page 103 in your books of common prayer. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now, turning the page, let us say together Psalm 121. And let's say that together in unison. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil, it is He who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now continuing at the bottom of page 105, a reading from Romans. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. I invite your intercessions, your requests, your petitions, your thanksgivings. We pray for Joe, our president, for Kamala, our vice president, for Kay, our governor, and for Paul, our mayor. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Glenda, our diocesan bishop, for Brian, our assisting bishop. We pray for Father Steve and Father Sam. And we pray for Lynn, our deacon, Karen, our postulant for holy orders. Now in continuing with our practice of praying for five, we pray for Jeff and Kate Hewitt, Ernie and Liz High, Ken and Carrie Holcomb, Greg Holland, Veronica Hollins. Okay, dear ones, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for Holy Eucharist at noon, right here in the nave. Until then, take care of each other and take care of yourselves. Let us bless the Lord. Amen.